Hello everyone. Well, we're going to test the volume and test everything. So um, we're going to start right at 6.30. So we got five minutes. Just going to make sure everything is correct. Let's hope we don't have um, no uh, problem with this. So I just want to make sure. So we're going to wait and see here if we get anybody um, coming in. Volume good. It's here. Awesome. Awesome. Um, somebody, Kelly, uh, Kathy, get some rain. No. We wouldn't know what to do. Okay. So right now I can see the comment and it seemed that we don't have no echo. So if we do have echo, I know what to remove. So we'll see how all this go. Loud and clear. Awesome. The picture look good. So let's see if that's going to go uh, good. So I get um, Sally, Pat, Vicky, Jean. Uh, oh, it's here. So let's hope that everything go good because last Saturday or whatever, two Saturday ago, we had quite a, uh, a good test there, but it seemed that we are getting it. So no echo. So that's good. The volume seem okay. Australia, it's in the house. Sturgis, South Dakota, Alabama, Hawaii. Hello. Um, so, well, that sounds good. I think that we got it. All good here. Awesome. That's what I like to hear. But you know what? Sometimes we get tossed lemon and we make the best out of it. I don't know if you all were here last Saturday, but not last Saturday, two Saturday ago. It was quite a, a challenge, but we figure it out. And thank you all to the one that came back after and helped me test this. So, um, that's what we have to do sometime, do some tests. I'm just waiting. Uh, we got three minutes. I like to start right on time. When everything uh, happened uh, smooth, I like to start on time. We're going to make two of those notepads uh, tonight. I did something similar in the past. Maybe some of you have been with me for a long time. You're going to see we've done that before. This been alternate for easy uh paper in it and so talking about that i need more paper for tonight let me reach more paper and uh, the best thing for the paper here that the size that alternate that so it's going to fit um smooth and uh, so it won't bow on the side the other one was bowing on the side so you have to trim really you can do like at pretty much any office uh, place and buy a ream of very cheap copy paper depends the thickness that you want and have um, it cut in four so two <coughs> and then in four and that's exactly what's going to fit in that. Or if you get a big paper cutter, you can use it um, there. Put it in the, you know, cut it in four. So it's quarter sheets. So it measures four and a quarter by five and a half. So it's no uh, art trimming or anything. And we're going to make those lovely tray. And it's easy to grab because we get the thing. We can pull just the paper. Then today, while I was preparing for this, uh, sometime my easel wanted to fall down. So I decided to add another piece to it, and it's just a piece of cardstock, but you see, and I did an half circle on the top. And the reason why I did the half circle, because if they got it on their desk, uh, you can still reach the paper without pulling everything. Well, right now it's because I don't have it flat, but you can pull the paper. So I'm going to show you how that's going to work too. 
So we're going to make both of them tonight. Uh, really, it's the same size tray. It's just that one got a cover on it with an easel. So, okay, it's 730. So welcome to uh, our class. Uh, most people know me. I'm Frenchie. At the other end, it is Holly with a H. Uh, Holly, she's the one that uh, take care of all the comments and that and answer everything. If she don't know the answer, I got my phone by me and she texts me and that's how we communicate during the live event. And then after the live event, uh, when I'm done, I always call her and I call it, we're going to debrief. So if it's anything that she has to bring to my attention and that, that's how I find out about it. I give a glance at the the message there, like right now I see people from Michigan, Minnesota, Massachusetts, uh, Louis, uh, Mary, it's here, Carol, Holly, Mary, and Debbie. So I can see right now, but when I start the stamping in that, it's hard for me to pay attention to the comment. I'm sure you understand that. And Holly been with me since I started doing live events. So she's my right hand when it come at this. So I absolutely, uh, hi, Tammy. Uh, I absolutely um, depend on her every time I'm live. So tonight, if you would like the PDF file, it is an order of $25 with this hostess code here. Uh, VQD9BPHQ. Again, it's the VQD9BPHQ. For $25, you can have the PDF file with mini picture in it and all the measurement, the supplies list, and that for both of the trays. Uh, if you want the jumbo PDF file that it's on my blog for this month, each month I get a customer appreciation, then an order of $50 is going to get you both of them. The other one, it's $30, the, this one $25, so it's $55, I say $50 again. But you have to use this Ostis code though, and this is only uh, good till, um, I think, next weekend. I'm going to make it till next weekend. Here we go. Till next weekend. Maybe I said Wednesday. Uh, you know what? Let me check that. I just want to check it because I don't want to have to switch everything. So, um, you know what? I didn't put a date on there. I don't see no date. So, we're going to say till um, the 13th. So now till the 13th, you're going to get the PDF file of this one. So this is this code. It's only good till the 13th. So we're going to get started. Uh, one thing that I want to say, um, if you want to know uh, when I'm going to get live and get notification in that, at the right hand corner, you see the subscribe button. If you get subscribed, then make sure you hit notification, then you're going to get notified. That's how you can get all the uh, notification. It's the same with Facebook. If you follow me on Facebook, most of Thursday night, I'm live on Facebook, except tonight I'm not live on Facebook because I'm here. But most uh, Thursday night, I am live at 6 p.m. the Mountain Time at Facebook. So let's get started. First thing you're going to need, it's um, a piece of cardstock. Well, I have to make you go the loop de doop to here. So you're going to go down and you know the routine. You're going to go up and back down. And let's make sure that this needs to be high enough because I get this cord board. And let's see if this is better or worse. I think it's better without the light because of the shining. And after that, we will make the light. So we're going to start with a piece of cardstock that measure eight and a half by nine and three quarter. I use a piece of wax paper. And here we go. And the reason why I have the wax paper it is so my stylus is going to slide much better. 
So we're going to score, so I get the eight and a half at the top. We're going to score at one. And you're going to ask me which one. When it comes to cardstock, really, it don't matter, the little one, the big one. Uh, the big one, it's much better though for um, designer series paper. But now, the little one, big one, it don't matter. I use both of them here. I'm going to use the small one tonight. So one, two, six and a half, and then seven and a half. Turn this around, and we're going to score at two, three, and eight and three quarter. Okay, so both both box gonna be the same way. Now, if you want the piece that go at the top for the flap, that's gonna get score at one and four, and it is um, seven and uh, I mean six and uh, seven eight by. Um, Six seven eight by four and three eight, and you score at one and four. So now we get this. So we are done with the scoreboard. We're gonna remove this, and we're gonna do everything with the big shot that we need to do. So then after that, it's downhill from then. It's gonna go easy. So we're using the new. Uh, Framelets, the Eastern Palace Framelets. I'm going to have many video with this, so you're going to have a lot of views with that. It is the framelet get a 14 piece here, so many, many of them. So tonight we are using, I call that the star and the flower. So you're going to need. Uh, your attachment, your adapter, a clear plate below. You can use the precision plate. I don't. Um, I used to use it all the time and now I find that it's easier not to except if it's super detailed then yes. So on a yellow you're going to need two of them. I already done one. So you're going to need two of them and I just mount that on top of each other. I get two plates here. Okay, let's try this again. So, um, first I was doing it separately and I find that you can do it together. One thing that would help if you put a post-it note on top so it don't move, or when you, hold, when you put it down, hold it, you see my thumb here, hold it tight so it won't move your uh, die. Roll this through. Okay, so now you're gonna see what's gonna happen here. It's this cut the out uh, outline of it, and this is just the center. See, so if you would cut just this, it would just do it, would still the cardstock, just the petal there. Now, what we need for the next piece, it is in the black, just the outline in the black. So, what we're going to do. I got a piece of scrap paper here. We're gonna cut one of this in the black, and then I need the big one also. Nope, nope, that's it. Big one, it's in the back. So we're gonna cut this, and you're gonna need two of this too if you wanna do a, the stopper there. And now we get this, see? Now we get just the outline. And the other one was doing just the petal here. See how fun that is? Okay, so this part is done. Now let's go to the next step. And the next step, it is, let me make sure I get the right size piece here. That's not right. That's what you have to measure twice and cut once, right? I'm here, I'm just looking, make sure I get the right piece. Okay, now 
This is for the top of our uh, fold there. So I'm gonna put my flower right here. It barely fit there, okay? It's right on. So you have to make sure that you go sideways a little bit. Here we go. So um, this piece of paper measure, um, that one there measure uh, four and one eighth by uh, two and three quarter. Now we're gonna put this on top, make sure it don't move. Roll this through. Now see this one, we didn't put that. So now, voila, is that cool? Cause it stayed there. But you can have it if you want, like where I done the sunflower here. It's the same dye. I put some center because you get all those center with them. See, I put the center to do the sunflower. And see, this become this. I just snip at each end. I snip, snip, snip. So I get the sunflower. So that's what I'm saying. This dye, it's very, very versatile. Now, after I get this part, we're going to do, I'm looking where my sample is, because I would like to do the same. Oh, here it is. I need another black of this, this. Okay, I need one more black of this here. I thought I needed two. So let's do another black of this. I don't know if it's going to fit on this. I think so. You know what? I get spread black here. Let's use this. Okay, I need one more of the black. So really, if you want the stopper, you, you would need three blacks and then uh, one of the yellow there. Okay, that is done. I'm done with the big shot. Let's remove this. So we're gonna have some space to work. Okay, so now we're going to build the top here. This is our um, flap. So we're going to build this here. I will let her know after tonight, class, Jen. Mm -hmm. Uh, if you try to uh, PDF file and I don't respond to you, that means it I didn't get it. It must go in the junk or something. So I would say, uh, I don't know if it go there because I respond to my email right away. Because I'm sure people can uh, testify here that I answer right away. Make sure you get the right email at frenchiestamps at hotmail.com because I reply at all my email right away. Okay, now we get this. And you see when we build that on top, that's where you get your black. So I don't have another black there. But what I wanted to do, I want to raise these here. So I hope that answered the question, Jen, because like I said, I answer to all email right away, um, less than a day, so less than 24 hours. So if you didn't get an answer from me, I didn't receive it. Because even if it's something I cannot do, or uh, I'm gonna answer with a yes or no. Et voila, so now we get our flower and it's still attached to our piece. I'm going to use the detail light and we're going to sponge our um, I just sponged the tip of the flower to give a little bit more uh, dimension and I'm going to do the same thing with the other piece so the flower here this is the trick though 
with this flower if you want to just bring the the petal not the bottom here you have to all right here if not it's too dangerous to peel right off your petal so i push the petal out and curve push the petal out and you want to hold the petal at the end so you won't pull um, tear up the petal completely Here we go, see? Now I'm gonna take, okay, let me see if I can add some light here. I'm gonna see if that's not clear, I'm gonna, cause I, I cannot see good without my light. Here we go. So again, it's daffodil on daffodil I'm using here. You can use crushed curry too if you want darker. Here we go. Now we're gonna use um, a one, uh, no, not one, a half inch in a black. So I'll add a piece of scrap black here. We're gonna use a piece of, uh, I mean a piece, a circle of half inch circle. We're gonna glue that in the center. So I'm using Tombow. It seems Tombow, it's getting more and more popular in my craft room. And now we're going to use the one of, I call that the star or, it's just, it looked like a policeman badge, don't you think? I'm going to put that at the top. Here we go. So now I get my black. You could use any color. I just love a black and yellow. I think it make it very striking. And two, if you're not sure of what color their office are or their kitchen or whatever, where they would put this notepad, I think black and yellow would go. That's just me. Okay, huh. I got a little paper here. Now this here, gonna go in the center of this right here. See, it go, it won't be in between every petal. Some are off a bit. So just decide how you like it. We're gonna put that right here. Gonna put that right here. I won't put the dimensional yet because it's easy when it's on the paper. Now I'm gonna use the gold, gold uh, decal here. And this come in the bundle that you can buy, the Eastern uh, Palace bundle that come in there. And I got a piece of black that I did it by purpose that it's cut on the wrong size. Cause I wanna show you a, a trick here. It seemed that you guys like that when I share tips on live events. So here it's one of the tips tonight. Many times you get a piece of cardstock that it is too small because I this was one inch, but really I need it at a, a quarter inch. So to go there, to close this, see, I cannot hold it and that. So take a piece of post-it note, put it in the back of this. This is all post-it notes, very stiff. So then line this up where you need it, three quarter, three quarter, right there. Or you can do it on the other side too. Whichever side that you work, if you're lefty or righty, whatever, it doesn't matter. But me, I like to have it here. I can hold my hand there. I make sure this is a three quarter and this end too. Now I hold my piece of post-it note, hold this tight, cut, and I got a perfect cut and I didn't have to move it. This is a little bit too long, but I want it a little bit too long though. And uh, cause we're talking about three eighths of an inch in depth and it's too hard to have it just right. So I just go a little bit longer. And we're gonna trim it after. I'm gonna use the decal. One of the strip of the decal is gonna be enough. So I'm gonna take this. I uh, placing the scallop face in, okay? 
So I'm going to bring that right here. We're going to take our scissors, cut that right here. Now we're going to take this piece again, and we're going to bring that in the center. We're going to match this here. Oops, this one. No, so I guess you need two. I thought one would fit, but I guess we need another one. Don't throw this one out, because you can use it on another piece of project. Here we go. And this, if you use it on window sheet, the back of it, it's silver, so if you glue it on the window sheet, then you would add silver. Uh, let me move this around, and we're going to come right here in between. Oops. Et voila. We're going to cut this here. We're going to save this for another project here. Okay, we're going to remove this. We're done with that. Here we go. Whoops. Okay, now I can glue this on top of this. Now I'm going to use my fast use. Put that right here. Go in the back. Always go in the back because then you know exactly where the edge of your paper is. You just follow that. Because if you go on the top, it's too hard to, uh, it's too easy to go off because you don't see the edge. So in the back, you see the edge. So now that is the top of this. See how it all come up very good together? So I'm gonna put my test cues. Make sure you do your corner. Oops. You know what? Just because it's so little, those pieces, I just wanna put here. Here we go. Oops, oops. And now we're going to line that up right here. That seem about right. Okay, now we're going to do the other piece. We're just going to put this flower after it's glued to our box, okay? See, it's going to go right there. Now, we're going to use this here. Oh, I forgot the stamp set. The stamp set, it's uh, wherever you go. I use the sunshine, the ray of sunshine in that. That's a stamp set that I use quite often for that sun well i love scenery so this is perfect for me i absolutely love this so we're going to stamp that with daffodil delight so daffodil on daffodil Now we're going to use this stamp set, it's a uh, sunshine saying. Ooh, I'm almost out of juice. Okay, let me remove this. And that we're going to use... Um, uh, you are my, oh yeah, right here. You are my sunshine. You are my. You have, and that we're going to stamp that in um, memento ink. But before we do that, you got the frame lid that matched that. And I pre-cut two sunshine in advance. So... I'm trying to keep my light in in an hour, so sometimes I have to prep a bit 
So I just did my two sunshine. You see they are straight, but by the time we're done, I saved those two little dots for my eye there. Uh, by the time we're done, they're going to be curvy. So what we're going to do, I want the top here. I want this a little bit darker. So what we're going to do, it's I'm going to use my uh, sponge dauber and dab some color on it. Um, daffodil on daffodil. Be careful when you sponge because where the letter are matching, you don't want it to pull it, you know, rip it. So you have to, I just want it a little bit darker than the background. Okay, now that's going to be done. Now we're going to do the gluing. And I like to use my silicone mat. And you're going to put the glue in the back of the yellow because it's going to go on top of the, the black. And the reason why it's because you want a little bit of a shadow. If you put the glue here, it's too easy that you're going to put it where really the piece of cardstock won't touch. So I'm using the fine tip glue that is not fine tip glue. In this, my fine tip was empty and I put some uh, Tombow glue in there. Um, I like to work with Tombow glue better. And um, I like to work when it's a little piece like this. I like to work with this um, um, needle nose. So this worked perfect for me. And some people say you can use a sponge. I tried that. I didn't like that. If you guys like to use a sponge, go for it. We all got our, uh, what we like and what we don't like to work with. So sponge was not my friend when it came with the glue. So, oops. Make sure that I stay. Here we go. You just want to go off a bit. Now, when we're going to glue, turn this around. And again, we're going to put more glue in the back of the black here. So you always put the glue in the back. Put it that way. That's going to be easy to remember. Even if you put a layer in the front, put the glue in the back of whatever's that going to get glue it's going to be much easier. Now I'm going to cover this. Take your sunshine. Bring this here. And I like to start right at the side there. And twist. When you twist, you have to hold it there. Here we go. Okay, you see the glue there? Don't worry about that. Because it's going to dry. It's going to be clear. I know this is retire. But for me, this is something that I need in my craft room. So I'm sure that we can go at the box store and get one. Uh, i still going to use my eraser at all time. It's just that it's a tool that I need. Personally, I really need that. So um, I say... If I cannot sell it or buy it, I'm going to find a place that I can buy it. Absolutely. Now, I'm going to use on the eye, I'm going to use a, just a little dot right there. And now, I'm going to use my little Andy, um, handmade poker. I know, again, they sell some of those too, but I make my own. What I do... I use a piece of Tombow glue, do a, a round of Tombow glue there, let it dry. And when it's dry, it's still sticky and just roll that there. It looked like, I know, somebody pick her nose, but it's not that. It's Tombow glue that after it dry, you can put it on a kebab. I need that on this way. No, the black first. So see, it pick up very nice. I'm going to put that right there. Now I'm going to use, oops, I should have kept my glue up. Another little dots here. 
and then we're going to put the yellow on it. So that's how I do my um, paper poker, uh, paper picker. It's with Tombow glue, multi-purpose glue, and put it on your silicone mat and let it dry a bit, and then you're just going to roll it. Oops, it's kind of crooked a bit there. Here we go. See, it is the perfect little tools there for uh, picking your paper. And if you're a demonstrator and you do classes, well, this is awesome because everybody can have a piece. It's not like a tool you uh, spend a lot of money. This is my De uh, Deftel Delight marker. I forgot to sponge my eye. So I'm just going to add a little bit on it. See? Add a little bit. Et voila. Now we can do You Are My Sunshine. I want to make sure that I'm on the right way. I don't like to put my sticker in the back. Here we go. And I'm going to put that right here. So that's why you want to glue your uh, sunshine first. And then you can uh, mount that at the right, I mean, stamp at the right place. Okay, we're going to remove this. Here we go. Now we're going to put that in the front of this. See how pretty that is? Okay, that's ready to go. Okay, let's roll with making our box. See how quick this was? So we already uh, pre-scored everything here. And we're gonna, we're gonna do some trimming and then we're gonna reinforce our score. So, um, over here where it's the one inch at the bottom here, what we're going to do is remove one of the square, only one. And when you remove this, you want to remove the score line. It's important when you do any type of box to have the, the score line removed for it to close lovely. And you can do a little V too. I'm going to show you that in a minute. Okay, so now we get the two corner removed. We want to go in on each side. So I'm going to come right in here. That's where I'm going to do like kind of a little V here to remove that score line. Remove this. Come in here. Usually I come in the back. Here we go. So now we get this bottom uh, done. You're going to use, uh, I think I use one and a half a circle punch. Let me check if it's one and a half. I think so. And this, you're going to punch this right here about halfway. So you see circle got kind of a dip in the center. So you're going to go about there. So, uh I could mark um, a mark in the center, but that would be against Frenchie's rule of an extra measurement, right? So I just go eyeball that about the center. And this, the reason why I like this, it's you get that at the bottom of your tray. So when you get at the end of your paper here, you see, you still can get, see, let's say, I still can come here and get my paper. So that's why I like that half circle there. So, there we go. Okay, so now we got the bottom done. Now we're going to go at the, the top here. And this, we're going to remove the first, well, the rectangle and the square there. This needs to be removed completely. And on this side, just the first one, not the two. Remember that, just the first one. Okay. 
Yes, I did a video how to put the Tombow Blue. It was on, it's on YouTube and it is, oops, oops. Yeah, remove all this. It is on YouTube and it is on Facebook also. You just um, open this here, put your Tombow Blue in it. And uh, somebody was telling me it was getting stuck there. When you're done, if you tap it, then the glue go down. So far, mine it's okay. This here, this removed completely. See? So then you can pour your tumble very easy. So now I need to wash my hand because uh, we're going to have, I don't know what we're going to have. We're going to have a mess. And my hand are inking. Uh, not inking, but gluing. So that's how you're going to fill your Tombow. Uh, and I got some uh, different techniques too to use fine tip glue like resist. So you don't have to toss that in the trash. You can use it. I'm trying to uh, catch the conversation as we go there. So when I see something, I can answer. Okay, so now we remove those two things. This square and this square need to be flopping below. So what I'm going to do, it's come right here. Again, I remove that score line there. And over here. Sometimes I do a little V, this box. I just like to just plain remove it. I still have this one here. There we go. I just saw the buzz. I just want to make sure it was not Ollie. Here we go. And I already done the black one. So you're just going to see me put one tray together. But both tray are done the same till the top. So here we go. So now you see we got our flap here and our flap here. Now what we're going to do, it's reinforce all score line. I'm sure when I say reinforce your score line, all these laughing because I used to say something else. And oh, one more thing I should say. I, I think I'm going to have to say that at every video. I got an email, was it yes, yesterday or today? And um, this girl said that um, she used to do business with a lady and she stopped and she was looking for uh, somebody else. And I said, well, which country are you in? And, and, and she, yeah, she, I said, which country are you in? And she sent me back an email and she said, I'm in the U.S. I so wish I could buy from you. And I said, well, you sure can. And she said, well, you're not in the U.S. And I said, oh, yeah, I am. So with my accent, I guess some people don't know that I live in the States. So I'm going to have to make sure to tell people. So if you are listening tonight, yes, I can do business anywhere in the U.S. So it's just say sometimes we think that people know you or, you know, they think you know where you're from or whatever and really they don't. See, I have some black on this. Okay, so now you see my box, it's almost done. You could do this without any glue, but I like to put glue because you see it would stand by itself. See? And that glue there. But I like to put glue just to make it strong. So what you're going to do, it's your flap. One, two, three, four. That one be, you want the glue inside, okay? Inside. So again, we're going to use Tombow. And on over here, on each side... And I'm just going to go right at the edge, right at the edge. Now we're going to, oh, this here I get a chunk that I don't like. Here we go. 
Now we're gonna close our tray. Get to roll my hand there. Here we go. And then we're gonna close this one. Those, here we go. Make sure you keep those flat up. That's one of the reasons why you want your glue inside so you can go in and push that in and not getting all full of glue. Here we go. Now we're just gonna hold this tight here till the glue bond together, the two piece. I should have added something, uh, baby wipes, some, something for my hand here with the glue. Here we go. So now you see you get your three. Now this and this need some glue. This one gonna have to uh, be a little bit more careful when we fold it down because we want a nice straight uh, finish. I want to put some right at the edge there. Okay, now I'm going to push this down and turn it here. Make sure it's flush on the side there. The tip to remove the score line, you just snip it off. That's it, honey. Just snip it off. Here we go. You get your trick. Now, this one here, this lovely one, I use the um, sending love, the paper, that it's sold out now. So... I decide that, because now if you order the big uh, kadu, uh, bundle there, you get that big uh, paper that I think it's very pretty. So you need a six and a half. And is that six and a half? A four and a half, five and a half, six and a half. It is six and a half. There we go. Hmm. I'm going to try to make it. So what you're going to do is six and a half, and really we need, I hate score in advance. i just going to go off. No, you know what? Like I said, I don't like to um, score when it's a box like that, because with when it turns, it needs some give. So um, let's start at... A strip of one and three quarter. And we're going to do, <clears throat> I'm going to start at one and a half, my score line. And it is too much because it's just one inch. But, and then I'm going to go at four and a half. And let's see how this is going to manage. Because when it's the design your CRE paper, I just put it on it. But cardstock, you need that. Okay, this is going to fit perfect. So from each score, we're going to go at one. Oops, one my score. So you're going to go your score one. Right below that, and then I'm gonna do the same thing here. It's just you need like just a tiny, tiny little bit for your score line. So really, if you go like six and a half, that would be four eight. Six and five eight would be way plenty, and then you can trim. Then I get perfect on each side. Now what we're gonna do. You can use Tombow or you can use a uh, fast fuse or snail, whatever you prefer. I'm going to put that right in the center here. Go put your hand under. Make sure it bonds together. 
right on the side and right on the side. If you use designer Siri paper, I put it here and crease it with my hand. I don't score it. Now I got the ribbon and I think we still have the little uh, embellishment. So what we're gonna do is take our ribbon and this is, it's all in the same suite. In the love suite, it is, um, it is on page 51. So it's the very vanilla satin ribbon and I'm using Falling in Love, the embellishment. And design, this is, designer paper was the Falling in Love, but that is sold out. So I just, oh, see, you want to make sure this is bound very good there. See, it came up. I rather have more ribbon than not, not enough. Here we go. Okay, and I used the large alphabet and I did F. F it's great. It's not just for Frenchie, it can be for friends, it can be for family. So uh, it can be for many things. Here we go. We're gonna put that right here on the top. We're gonna use a tom uh, not tombo, but a dimensional. So I'm going to put that right here. And you know what? I think that we should just on one side so it's going to pop a bit more. Here we go. Okay. And I'm going to put you know what, let's see first. Before I glue this, I want a flower there. So I want to pull my, here we go, one over here, one over there, and then I'm gonna put my F about here, and one over there. So then we get a clue where to put our uh, bow in the shebang here. So what I'm gonna do is take a glue dot. I like to use my snip for this. I'm gonna remove this here. Oh, oh, I did. Here we go. Just move that tiny bit. Lift your bow, put your glue dot in the back, so then your ribbon is there secure. Take your glue dot. I'm gonna use two glue dots, make sure they come wet. I'm gonna put that right here. And I'm gonna take one more glue dot. Go in the back of the ribbon. Oops, maybe, maybe not. That's funny. Here we go. Here we go. Now that's secure there. Now this one, I'm gonna play a trick on it. I'm gonna put it first. I'm gonna take another do that. And we're gonna put that right here. Now we're gonna put our F. So you can use any letter, you can do a flower to whatever you prefer. I'm gonna put that right there. And then let's use another glue dot. Here we go. Get a little bump there where the glue dot was, but don't worry about that because we're going to put an, uh, an embellishment on it. Et voila. And now we got a stack of paper here. Et voila, my friend. So now you have it. 
And you can decorate it as much as you want or as little as you want. It's whatever you prefer. Now, for me, the F, it's kind of um, not standing out enough. What you could do is take your craft um, white um, ink pad. You can take some of the re -anchor. Put it in your uh, cover here. Here we go. Make sure it's mixed there. And the reason why I like to put it in my cover, it's because it's going to save it. Don't go to waste. I'm using a toothpick. That's going to bring my F quite a bit, give a lot of dimension to my F. See, I just used my toothpick. Make sure you don't put your N on top. So as you can see, as I go, when I think of something, I just go with it. So I thought my F was not standing out. So I said, well, what can we do? Because it was already glue, so I cannot sponge it enough. So then this is something you can do to anything of your um, on dark. Use your craft ink and use some dot. Uh, if you get the gel pen, that would work also. It's just the gel pen, a lot of time, it won't be bright like your ink. This is very bright. Then take your... Voila! See how much that add? It add a lot. I think you can see. And I could have stamped something too on my piece of paper to bring it out. So that's it. So that was this one with was the original. I'm going to find the original. Some, oh, right here. There we go. So now you can see them side by side. Okay, let's remove this. This will wanna, here we go. This will have been traveled a lot, I think. Let's remove this. Now we're almost done. Remember I said the black, and I did the black in advance because the black, it's hard to see in the camera and that. So I said, well, I'm gonna do that in advance because we. it's the same thing than the one we did. Absolutely the same, same thing. The only thing I didn't put the banner around, okay? What we're going to do for this one, it's you're going to use a Tombow or Fast Fuse or I like to use Tombow again here and you're going to understand in a minute why. You're just going to put that on your flap that it's one inch. The one that you uh, at one inch. I'm going to put that in the back of this. See how perfect fit it is? I mean, I you get the 8 inch and all that, but it's sometimes when you do covers and that, that's what you have to do. If not, it won't uh, fit perfect. So now I get the perfect fit here. Now what we're going to do, it's use dimensional. Okay, the center there, uh, it is not available yet, but when it is, June 1st, it's something you can add to your wish list or your list that to start with your new catalog. It is those nice embellishments, and they are so pretty. So you can take one of them, put that right there. See how pretty it is? That's what I done in um, the center of this one. So let's bring this. So this here, it's a piece of cardstock, four and a quarter by five and a half. 
I use the two inch circle in the center and I mount another of those flower. The same flower that we did for this, that's what I put here. Now, we're gonna use another pack of paper here. We're gonna put that in. Now, if you slide this here, Oh, we should have reinforced our score here first, so remember that. Remember that this needs to be glue. Let's make sure this is gone first. Mm. And then if you lift this up, voila, it stands right up and it's perfect. Um, another thing, you can take your pen and so with this, the stopper, you can keep your pen over there. If you get a pen with C, it's gonna stay right there. So that's another little uh, tip for you. Uh, what I like about this, when you get that here, you can take your paper and just slide it off. See, you can still reach it. You don't have to take that out. Put your finger, it stay right there. So you get your... Um, your easel. And what I like about the easel, so this can, you're my sunshine face you, and if you're at this, that it's open there. So they get a nice decoration in the back also. So either way. And then if you keep some notes, sometimes you don't want everybody to see, well, you can keep this close. So then they don't see your notes. So this is it for me for tonight. So here are the two for this one. So you get a good Blue. I'm going to move this one up and do this one here. So, voila. So you can get the PDF file with all the supplies that I use, the measurement and everything. Like I said, for $25 order with this Ostoscope VQD 9B PHK, you're going to get the... Um, you're going to get the template and the... Let me flip you here so I can talk to you. You're going to get the template and then all the measurement, the supplies, and the whole caboots. So here we go. So um, I don't know if you notice, it's my 15 years anniversary this month with Stamping Up. And on my blog, you get many, uh, all week, on, um, I'm going to have new um, blog candy. So just leaving a comment or if you place an order, you get two entry, another way you don't get just the PDF file, you're gonna get two and three for uh, my blog candy. So each week I release a new blog candy. So we're gonna have many winners through the months. And plus the PDF file of the month, I get 10 cards uh, this month. So it's a lot bigger than the regular PDF file. You get the tool bill, let me go get the tool bill. So you get the two belt for the ladies in the pink, but I did it in the brown too. So this is folded as a regular card. So you get the PDF file of that also in um, the place. These PDF file, though, the one that I do with my team, I don't sell them outright. I cannot sell them. It's an agreement we get with the team. We can all have it as a perk for our customer appreciation. That PDF file, I cannot sell. I can sell the PDF file of my live event. That is no problem, but not the one that uh, we do as a team. So keep that in mind. So Jen, I think it was Jen that wanted the PDF file. So again, uh, email me. If or if I don't respond to the email, maybe try uh, on my Facebook uh, page and message me there. Because like I said, I always answer in less than 24 hours so um carolyn ollie their favorite color it's purple who would i guess ollie right for sure ollie it's a purple girl so uh, again i think that is it oh we need a door price do you know what the door price tonight uh, i just grabbed because it was stamp set stamp set i grabbed a dozen of cards it's just cards that all been done or swap. I think I done them all. Uh, so it's a dozen of cards that I'm going to mail to you. So 
let's add the door price. So how can you uh, participate in the door price? You have to leave a comment. Some people say, I cannot leave a comment, I try. To leave a comment when it's live on YouTube, you need to be logged in under your Google account. If you don't have a Google account, when it's live, it will not let you put a comment. You can put a comment on Facebook, but not live. So that's the tip on uh, to leave a comment. So I'm just going to wait a few minutes. So um, the paper size, it is four and a quarter by five and a half. That is correct. It's a piece, regular copy paper that you're going to cut right and two and back like this so it's four piece yes absolutely it would make a great gift for uh, even when you got the doctor the receptionist it can be your friend i everybody need a piece of scrap paper in their kitchen to write their grocery list or uh, their errand they have to run or at your desk by your phone well i used to say it's awesome to have a notepad by a phone, but a lot of people don't have a, a phone on the uh, by a desk or whatever. It's all cell phone. I still have my landline here, but a lot of people don't have that anymore. But I know for a fact in the kitchen, it's a place that we always look for a piece of paper to write a note. Or it can be in the office. It can be a teacher. This gift, I think it would be for anybody. And now Mother's Day just around the corner. Even if it's not your mama, maybe you know uh, somebody that it's a brand new mama that would like to have that. Even if it's not our mom, we can celebrate somebody else too. So remember that. Absolutely. Perfect, perfect gifts. So, okay, Holly, please. Oh, thank you, Kathy. She said congratulations on your uh, 15th. The winner is Carol Hall. So, Miss Carol, I know you shop many times with me. I should have your, email, uh, your address. Just send me your address, though, and then I'm going to put all that in the mail for you tomorrow. So, um, Carol, congratulations. And um, I'm looking here uh, if I see any... Uh, hi, Melinda. If I see any comment i try to catch as much as i can i feel tonight it went way too smooth i feel like i took medication something i feel this is not normal usually i finish and i'm like oh, what the heck happened i feel i was stuck in a roller coaster absolutely always your mama need to jot something down absolutely so, okay, I guess we don't have, so remember, uh, Thursday night, usually I'm live on uh, Facebook. Next week, it's up in the air, because I'm going to be with my kiddos, but um, it's going to be like supper time, and my son worked till like 6.30, so I think that I'm going to have time to jump in and do a quick live one, and it's going to be with a new stamp set, because that's what I'm bringing with me to do some thank you card. So, um, yeah, I hope you can join me on Facebook. And again, if to get notification there, when you join me on Facebook, at the top you get the like page. Right beside that you get notification. Make sure you check like and click notification. Make sure you set that you're going to get notified to get all information. For YouTube, right there on the screen, right now, you get the subscribe button. Click on that, subscribe to my channel. Every time I download a YouTube a video, that is three times a week. Most time it's on Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Sometimes it's different depending if I'm in a blog up or that. I think that uh, most uh, week it's three times a week. It's been a long time I didn't skip three times a week. So you can count on three times a week. And if you subscribe, then you're going to get notified when I go live, when I download a video. So um, I think it's a great way to stay in the loop. Thank you, Barb. Here we go. So I think this is it, my friend. Thank you so much. Ollie at the other end, thank you for all answering those questions. You know that I'm going to call you to debrief. So um, I appreciate all of you that support me. And like I said, when you shop with me, that's what keeps us going. So thank you. Thank you so much. 15 years was awesome, and I hope I get another 15 in me. So 
all depends on you, I guess. Thank you and have a lovely weekend. Bye-bye for now.